are going to understand the concept of Pythagorean triplets. If suppose I take any three number, not any three number, if suppose I take a set of particular three number, let's say three, four and five and find out their squares. So three square, four square, five square. 3 square we know is 9, 4 square we know is 16, and 5 square we know is 25. Is there some kind of a similarity that you can draw out here? No? Yes, there is a similarity because if we do the sum of these two numbers, what we get is the square of the third number. So these three numbers are called the Pythagorean triplets. Similarly, if I were to give you another example, that could be, let's say we take three numbers, 8, 15, 70. We know square of 8 is 64, we know square of 15 is 225 and the square of 17 is 289. Again, sum of these two is equal to the square of these three numbers. So these three numbers are known as Pythagorean triplets. The rule for Pythagorean triplets is that if you have a natural number n which is greater than 1, then in a Pythagorean triplet 2n whole square plus n square minus 1 whole square is equal to sorry, n square plus 1 whole square. So this basically is your rule for a Pythagorean triplet. Now using this, you can find out various Pythagorean triplets.